Hi, Greg Lewis, Metastock Software. You're about to watch one of the presentations from the 2017 Online Traders Summit. I know you're going to enjoy it. Before we begin, I want to tell you just a little bit about us here at Metastock. We've been in business for about 30 years. Metastock is about the most powerful platform you can get for the private trader anywhere. You can test, you can scan, you can forecast, you can customize to your heart's content. It's an amazing piece of trading technology. If you'd like to get a free extended trial of Metastock, I encourage you to go to metastock.com slash traders dash summit three for one. That's metastock.com slash traders dash summit three for one, or just click one of the links provided. And uh, you can get three months of Metastock for the price of one. That's an amazing deal. I encourage you to do so. I know you won't regret it. Uh, please enjoy the presentation and successful trading. Uh, let's see if we can get Fausto uh, on the line. He was messaging me a little bit earlier that his audio connection was giving him some issues. So let's go ahead and hopefully we can kind of get that uh, working for him. Uh, give me just a second here. Uh, I am a little bit concerned about him. Fausto, I, I turned on your right now. I got him working. All right, Fausto, do you, do you, uh, I can hear you, which you made me a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. That's okay. I just got out of the emergency room. Really? I hope everything's okay. It, I did. No, I'm just kidding. I thought I had uh, had another baby. <laughs> False alarm. Oh, okay, okay. Well, do you want me to tell the baby story, or do you want me to tell you the uh, the uh, cruise story today to introduce you? <laughs> Whatever you like. It's All always right. just, I'm just. I'm just. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's good to have you. Okay. So I'm going to tell the crew story. The baby story will wait for another day. Uh, so Fausto is somebody we've been working with for a number of years. One of the stories that I like to tell to introduce Fausto is um, he is actually somebody that went on a cruise a few years ago, and he was rated the most handsome person on the cruise. So in addition to being very handsome, he also knows a lot about trading well and uh, that kind of stuff, very dedicated, uh, uh, and uh, has some very interesting takes on level two and level three data that he's going to talk to us about today. So Fausto, I'm glad we can hear you. I'm going to go ahead and get the screen over to you right now. Um, let's do that. Uh, Steve says, great presentation, Barry. Thank you, Steve. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Fausto, I can see your screen. Uh, I know that that was probably a very weak uh, demonstration, but I blame or uh, introduction to you, Fausto. But I blame you. You kind of got me nervous. So <laughs> that's all right, uh, Jeff. It looks like we're all we're all fine now. But uh, thanks the, for that great intro. The floor is yours. Take it away. Thank you very much, Jeff Gibley. And you know, guys, just give Jeff a big round of applause. I'll tell you, man, Jeff. I know Jeff for over got to be about close to almost over 15 years now. And uh, just to host an event like this and get some of the greatest speakers. I mean, you're talking over hundreds of years of uh, of knowledge here from guys from Ralph Hoffman and you know these are all good friends of mine. You, you know, you Price Headley and you know Vince and I mean, there's just and endless, endless, endless great, great speakers that are coming up that are going to be talking. Um, it's just great to be here and being here on a Saturday and just getting ready for. You know Thanksgiving, but uh, like you, thank you. I like to thank all of you guys to come out here and spend your Saturday with us. But once again, it's not about the entertainment; it's about the education, and that's what we're going to talk about. So, with that said, guys, could you guys just give me a chat back? I know it's been a long day, but I want to see how many people are still alive and bright and you know all over this world. Can everyone hear loud and clear? All right, Samet. Okay, good, good. We have a we got one person that's a, that's awake. Well, I don't know about you, but I got myself a cup of coffee before I, I got started. Good to see you. Skype, Jason, Martha, good to see you. Yovan, Donald, Gene, okay. Jack, okay. Robert, all right, good. Looks like everyone, looks like uh, <coughs> Jeff did a good job keeping you guys all awake. Well, guys, well, first of all, like I said, I'd like to thank Jeff Lee to get started. 
My name is Fausto Baglisi, uh, President and Founder of Cybertrain University. And uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk a little bit about you know, how the most important tra uh, tape reading tactics uh, you will need to know to be very successful in today's markets. Now, for some of you, have you any of you guys ever seen me do a speaking or have um, seen me doing a presentation before? Just give me a yes or no, just out of curiosity. Is your first time? Have you seen before? Okay. Alarm you. Okay, great, great. We got some students here. Fabulous. All right. Thanks, Rich. Thanks for coming back. Jeff, good to see you. All right. Good, good, good. So we have a couple of people that have been here, which is great. There's a lot of newbies here. All right. So let me just tell you a little history about myself. Um, and the reason why I want you to know about who I am is because I was you 25 years ago. Okay. Now I started, I live here in New York. I started as a stockbroker. And the only reason why I got into the brokerage business is because a lot of my friends were driving very expensive cars. And, you know, being a first generation Italian here, my dad worked very, very hard um, off the boat, w was a, uh, you know, a landscaper and says, son, if you could do something without getting your hands, uh, uh, not get your hands dirty and you can make a lot of money. I mean, this is the greatest country in the world. And there's great opportunity here, and uh, you know, and he saw great growth for his family. And he said, "Listen, if you could do something out there, do it." So um, I went out there, became a broker, and let me just tell you, I hated it. I literally hated it. Realized I was a glorified salesman. But let me tell you what I learned. I learned that the greatest job in the finance industry is being in the trading business, and that's something I learned very, very quickly. So what I did is I quit my job and I started going out there and trading, just like you guys. Listen, everybody here, I know a lot of you here are here for one reason. You're here to learn how to trade, you know, but some of you were not fortunate to live in New York or have a, a trading firm around the block from you or you're having connections, and that's okay. That's why Jeff and Metastock host this event because a lot of us, that's what we do. And we're here not, once again, to entertain you, but to educate you, to make you know if this is for you or not. So anyway, I had the opportunity to trade futures, forex, options, stocks, and you know what? Let me tell you what's great about today's event. You're hearing from all types of traders. And let me tell you something right now, everyone. You wanna make a smart business decision, okay? You should sample everybody's product and don't settle for something that you thought you might like because you might like something else that might be better and easier to understand it. But you got to learn from multiple mentors. That's one thing I learned as a trader, and I want everybody to understand that. So when you listen to them, whoever you like, you should sample everyone's product, and then there you go. Because what's going to separate you from the 10 million uneducated people in this world is that out of 99% of the people out there, 1% get educated, and 90% of them lose money. So the bottom line is we want to be part of that 10%. So with that said, guys, let me just get right into it and tell you. I was the ignorant 22-year-old um, kid that thought, you know what? I got my license. What do I need somebody to tell me? You know, what, what am I going to do in a trading room? First of all, I didn't want to split the profits. I didn't want to pay commissions. And guys, you know, listen. You all know what we're talking about. I didn't want to pay any money to go out there. Who's, who, what are they going to teach me? What, do, what are they going to actually – what could I not learn on my own reading out of a book or buying some you – know, watching on TV or something? Well, let me tell you what happened. I blew up three accounts. And let me tell you something. Every trader here today that's talking will all tell you the same thing, that they've all done it. Now, what I've learned when I blew up my accounts – when I had my last account, that I, last amount of money, that my dad says, son, I'm giving you money one more time, but the only way you're going to do this is you're going to get a job, you're going to work for somebody because you're not going to stay home and try to figure out on your own just because you passed, you got your seven license. So what I did was I took, a, I took a job as a trader, as what they call, quote, unquote, Sows Bandit. So I'm one of the original Sows Bandits. If you read any of the old books, um, I'm basically, you can look at me as your great-grandfather in the trading industry. Um, I'm one of the original day traders that started. There was about 500 of us. Now there's over 10 million around the world. And let me tell you what you're about to learn. I'm going to show you right now. What I've learned on the first day of the job, I didn't deserve, 
I deserve every single thing that happened to me why I lost money. You know why? Because of one thing, ignorance. I was being cheap, and I didn't want to spend the money and getting the right tools, just like having the right tools like a meta stock platform. Okay? You know what I wanted? Free, 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 free. And there's an old saying, people say, oh, if it's free, it's for me. Well, you know what? My dad says, you don't want something for free. He said, you just want a good deal, all right? Because nobody works for free. You're not working for free. The only thing I work for free for is, is helping, you know, doing charity, helping my kids at school, cooking for my crew team, you know, maybe uh, donating my time to the church, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, the government's not working for free, okay? You're always going to pay taxes, so you got to go make money. And let me tell you what happened. Being a trader, the worst part about it is I had to split my profits, okay? That was the big problem. But what ended up happening, the best education I got was sitting in the room with 400 traders, surrounding myself with great traders that made money every day. And you know where I learned my best money? When they lost money. That's how you learn to trade, when you lose money. You see, I'm going to give everybody a very important phrase, and you should write this down. Losing money, it's actually a very good thing. You know why? Because when you do it, you're not going to do it again. And a lot of people don't know how to lose money, and that's how they get themselves in trouble. So what I did, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, um, eventually uh, I didn't want to work for anybody, and I wanted to keep all the profits for myself. And my mentors always taught me, and they say, son, listen, you want to do well? You better start teaching people how to trade like you because you're not going to sit home. I don't care how good you are. You know, you're know, you only good because you're, you're part of a team. Now you know how to trade. Now go out there and start you know, um, start your own firm. And that's how Cybertree University was born. Uh, we're just not a school, guys. We're a trading room. We're the original trading room who originally started when it came to trading. And let me tell you, I'm the author of the book of How to Beat Market Makers in Our Own Game, first day trading book that has been out in over – 25 years. Now, you understand a little bit about myself. Now, let me, t let, me, let me get into the training part of it. Now, let me tell you what I learned when I first got into the industry, okay? Who do you think is smarter, all right? Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, uh, Smith Barney, or the guy on the right that's trying to play video game? Because, you know, trading is actually, it's a game. But nobody wants to take the time to know who's the smarter guy. If I had an opportunity to put my money on somebody, it would be on the left guys, not the guy on the right. Well, guess what? Most people that are trading are the ones on the right. And you should be the guy on the right, but you got to know how to play the game of trading, which is why we're all here. So how do we do that? Very simple. We follow the smart money. All you have to do. So what I'm going to do right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to teach you one of the biggest kept secrets, which is probably the first time you're ever going to hear this. And then hopefully after what you experience right now, you are going to take the opportunity to come and join me on Monday morning and watch what we're going to be talking about live in the market. Okay? So what is that? What we're going to focus on is something called level three. All right? Now, I have a question for everyone. Does anybody here have level three quotes? If you don't know, just give me you know, a question mark. If you got it, give me a yes. If you don't have it, give me a no. I wish I did. Well, Paul, you're in luck because you're going to get it, and you'll be fine. Wow, a lot of no's. Holy cow. Okay. Listen, guys, it's okay. All right? It's okay because I made that dumb mistake, and hopefully you didn't get yourself in a big situation. But let me, let me, let me ask everyone another simple question. Okay, and you all should be able to answer this question because if you can't, you shouldn't, re you shouldn't really be trading. How do stocks go up and go down in the market? How do they go up and go down? It's a very simple question. If you said supply and demand, buying and selling, you're absolutely right. There's the million-dollar question, okay? Supply and demand. Actually, that drives everything. Beanie Babies, eBay, bids, you know, it's all supply and demand, right? Okay, well, now that you know that, you answered that question, Tom, good, thank you very much, and John and Pedro and all of you guys that went out there, and I'm sorry if I missed this, so many of you, there's over 
don't know, four or five hundred people in here. It's great. Um, supply and demand. Now, let me just prove to you right now why most of you should not be putting your next trade in. You've just confessed the way things go up is supply and demand, right? Well, when you're in a position, do you see that supply and demand? Do you know who's buying it and selling it? Do you know, well, think about this for a second. What if I told you that I could teach you right now that you can monitor 70% of where the buyers and sellers are? In other words, you can now follow the high frequency trades. You know, you can see what these dark pools are all about. You can see where the institutions are placing the bids and offers. How much smarter and better trades would you make if you were able to see those orders? Think about it. You said supply and support and resistance levels, buying and selling, right? Of course, it now, how many of you are actually monitoring the buying and selling? And if you did, how much better trades will that be? Well, how's it all started, guys? Something called level three. Now, I was actually one of the pioneers who built level three about 20 years ago. Um, something called, which you're probably, anyone familiar of something called ECNs? Um, a lot of the execution companies will show it to you. It's an electronic communication network. It's where, where you get to see where all the ECNs are, like NASDAQ, Archipelago, EDGX. Okay, good. All right. Um, Sumit says, um, it's been useful, but I don't, I don't know how. Well, listen, that's great. And I'm going to show you right now, okay? Now, this is just trading one-on-one, guys. Now, what I'm about to show you, I'm just letting you know right now, this is not going to teach you how to trade. Okay, I can't teach you how to trade in an hour. I could just make you just enough to be dangerous. But hopefully at the end of the presentation, I'm done, you're all going to want to be witness of it, and you want to see how it works. I'll be ha glad to show you for a whole week, okay? Live in the market, pre-market, aftermarket, all that stuff. So let's get right into level three. Let me show you what we're talking about. What is it? Okay, level three is where we get to see a lot of the institutions, uh, where they place their bids and offers. This is where you get to see all the high-frequency trades. And what we're looking at right now is this is called NASDAQ's um, um, book viewer, they call it. And you get this right on NASDAQ's website, all right? So uh, I don't know where to get retail trades can access level three data. Susan, listen, that's why you're here, and that's why I've been doing this for 25 years. And you know what? A lot of brokerage firms don't even want you to know that it even exists because by you knowing it's there, then you'll know what they're doing. Make sense? Okay, that's why a lot of people want to take them, the matters in their own hands. And Susan, like I said, if you, if, you, if you really want to know, I'll be happy to talk to you personally. Okay? All right, now let's get to level three. What is level three? Well, you got three different levels, level one, level two, and level three. Okay, level one is basically you're just getting the best bid and best offer. That's it. That's all you get, bid and offer. You, 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 you look up a quote, you see the tape, whatever, on, on a TV or a computer, that's level one quotes. Level two, which a lot of people say, oh, I got level two. Ooh, I got level. level two's been obsolete since the 90s, okay? Um, they were getting rid of level two a long, long, long time ago. Um, level two was great, but it doesn't show you all the depth, all the orders. It only shows you the best bid and best offer. Level three is going to show you every single order out there. Now, I'll give you an example, okay? Looking right here, let me just get my crayons out here. Let me show you what we're looking at. All right, so this is the bid. These are the buyers. These are the buy orders, and these are the sell orders. The bid is also known as uh, the, the buyers are known as the bid. The ask is also known as the sellers. Now, here are the shares, and this is the price. So right here, the way it works is whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to sell for the least amount of money, okay, um, they're up here on the top on the ask price. Now, what you're seeing is that people are buyers at all different prices, right? You know, you could be a, a 200 share buyer at 29.36, but you could, you know, but you know what? If this stock went down to 29.25, I might be a 5,000 share buyer. Only level three is going to show you all the orders out there, okay? Level two is only going to show you my best bit of 200. It's not going to show you all the orders out there. Now, what makes this very unique is this is how we use level three. 
Level three, we look what's called the quote unquote iceberg orders. That's a, that's a lingo that we invented here at Cyber Trading University. An iceberg order is a big block order, a substantial order, like this guy right here at 2950 for 71,000 shares. So the way we utilize level three is that we utilize it by looking at the orders, the prices, and looking for the most amount of shares at that price. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will give us an indication of where the support and resistance levels. Like, for example, what do you think is more of a resistance? The seller of 500 shares at 2941 or the seller at for 71,000 shares at 2950? Okay, so that is the beauty about trading. Now, we we'll get a couple of questions coming across here. Exactly, Summit, very good. Doesn't seem very complicated, right? All right, so let me just change the slide here and it helps you find the buyer sellers basically as well as you're showing you just now. Now, looking more in depth, you know, um, I was just I was just with a bunch of the presenters that were here today. Um, we had an event that we did in Chicago. We did a Chicago event, and um, we did a tour of the CBOE and uh, with with our students. And I told the students, I said, students, look on the floor, and look what the screens. What do you see a lot of? They say, see a lot of numbers. I says exactly, okay. And what do you think they're looking for? They're looking for the orders, okay. They got to see if their orders out there and who all the orders are out there with them. That's what we're looking at. So we're looking at orders, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to make major supports and resistance levels. Now, adding on what we're looking at, you'll notice that I added a couple. I, I added a couple of more fields. Now you'll notice I also added orders. Now orders, for some of you here that are questioning and saying, well. How do we know how many people they are? Well, like for example, you see this 14,000 share seller out there? That buyer, I'm sorry, that buyer is made up of 39 orders. That means there's 39 different orders from different people out there. It's not like this one, uh, this one order here for 200 or these four orders at 800. So when you're when you want to um, question and saying like one of you just mentioned, well, Fausto, how do you know those are real orders? First of all, I want to clarify something very important. Okay, could any broke could any of you guys um, do a trade with a brokerage firm that will let you put fake orders out there? Does anybody know a brokerage firm that will allow you to do that? Because one of you just mentioned, it says, oh, yeah, I heard about these. Is a, how do you know they're real? I, well, I don't know. You tell me. Do you know a broker trim lets you put fake, fake orders out there? Nobody knows. You know what's pretty funny? I don't know one either. So why would anybody say these are fake orders? You know why they would say it's fake? Because you have to ask yourself that question. Who really trained you? Are you self-taught? Or did you learn from, you know, from somebody? I mean, I don't know who you learned from. But all I could tell you is this. You are talking to a market maker, okay? I was one of those people out there. That's what I used to do. Now, if you don't believe it works and you think they're fake, I'm all up for a good bet. Anybody want to take a bet with me? Because what I'll, I'll, make, I'll make a great bet with you starting on Monday morning. I'll find an order like there, and I bet you, I bet, I'll bet you my thousand dollars to towards your hundred, your hundred, hundred dollars. And we'll see, and we'll go out there and we'll execute that order with your account. And if you get executed, you owe me a hundred bucks. If you don't get executed, your order gets canceled. Um, then I'll pay. You, I'll give you my thousand. And by the way, it's being recorded, so you got my bet. All right, now, um, can't they? Um, can they cancel? Sure, they could cancel an order. You could cancel an order, but you know what? That order is made of thirty-nine different people, right? We think they're all cahoots with each other. You guys ever heard of spoofing? Anybody heard of spoofing before? Look up the word spoofing on the internet, okay? Do you know what's going to come up? Anybody heard of spoofing before? S-P, what is it, O-O-F, spoofing, okay? Do you think any brokerage firm is going to go out there and get caught doing spoofing? You know how illegal that is? You know they'll get shut down, okay? You think they care about, you know, um, 
playing games with a couple of hundred chairs. They, 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 it, and not only that, if you really think that this stuff is going on, why would you want to be in this business, right? That's another thing I always ask people. Oh, yeah, I heard about this. And, that, and the only reason why I'm making a big deal about it is because I always get people that – that bring it up and I'm like well why would you be in business with a bunch of thieves liars and cheats if you really think that there's something illegal going on the only thing that's illegal going on is that people are actually out there trading without without education if it was up to me I wouldn't allow anybody out there to trade their own money unless they went to school and got a license honestly and actually, some of some some brokerage firms actually to do that, you do have to get licensed. I wouldn't let any of you guys go out there and 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 trade. But unfortunately, there's no law against it, and that's why your know, brokerage firms, believe it or not, are trading against you. Do you know that a lot of brokerage firms take the bet that you're going to lose? You know, online brokers. That, you know, the reason why they they don't tell you all these level three quotes and all that because they don't want you to know what's going on because they're trading against you. And like I said, if you want to see it, we'll see it on Monday. Um, well, once again, John, about being lucky, I don't know if you want to be lucky. You know, lucky, you know, the problem with luck is that you don't always, always you, you know, you make your own luck when it comes to trading, being at the right place at the right time. you got to have skill. You really do. And, and a lot has to do with education. It really does. That's why a lot of you guys are here. Because today, I don't think this is more of a, a more of an education thing. I think this is more of a, of a or an, more of an interview. An interview to see if this is something that you want to do or not. And let me tell you guys, you, you're involved in one of the greatest jobs in the world. You know, Metastock brings these events and brings some of the best educators in the industry not only because we have a passion to teach it, because we hate seeing people lose money. And you know why they lose money? Because they don't have the right tools like a Metastock platform. They don't have the right tools like using Level 3. So when it comes to trading, guys, you just got to know how to play the game. Remember the photo I showed you first time, the guy, the guy with the, playing with the, with, with the video game and then the big brokerage firms? Whose team would you want to be on? Um, well, question regarding that just came up, um, sir, can, it, can we manually find big orders from millions of trades? Now, what if I told you that I personally guarantee you that I could show you orders on all of them? Would you take me up on that? Would you take me up on, up on that order? W let me ask this. Would you pay $7? If I was able to show you that, would you pay 7 bucks? Is it worth $7 to see where 70% of the orders are? Anybody, anybody want to pay seven bucks? Sounds like a steal, right? What do you have to lose? If I'm wrong, you get your money back, right? Well, this is what separates traders and, you know, uneducated traders. And you don't want to be part of the educated. Listen, if you like trading, there's certain things that you're going to need to be very successful at it. Um. Now, a couple of questions coming across here. Um, can you explain how we can benefit from level three? Well, Basso, like I mentioned earlier, what makes, how do stocks go up and go down? Supply and demand, right? So how do we benefit from it? Well, maybe this slide right here will show you. Look how the stock is trending down on the chart, okay? Now, how do we know and could we confirm that this price that happened in the past at $12.60 is an official support level? Because it went from $13.20 down to $12.60. How do we know it's going to bounce? Well, the only way we know it's going to bounce is if because we need, not because the chart said so, because that's what happened in the past. It's not indicative of the future. It's, listen, we all know stocks break supports and resistance levels all the time. How do we confirm it? Well, when you look over here on the level three and you look your way down, like let me look down there right where we are, and boom, right around 1250, you see there's a 14,000 share buyer out there with 39,000, with 39 different orders from 39 different people. Okay? So when, you, when you're looking at a stock, you're like, well, is, 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 
1275 is support level. Well, 970 shares. I don't know, 1253. I don't know, 20 share, 200 shares. But once you get to that 1250, which is what we see on the chart, makes perfect sense why it's a support level because there's so many orders out there. And you know what? That those orders are there now, not not an hour two hours, a week, a month from now. They're there now. So that would be your confirmation that 1250 is a support levels. And that's how you utilize your charts with the book view, with, with level three quotes. Does that answer your question, Basso? Just want to make sure. And everyone else? Okay, good. Because here's another example, all right? Here's a stock that's going up. Now, how many of you guys bought a stock, and as soon as you buy it, the thing goes down? Or how many times did you sell a stock, and as soon as you sell it, the damn thing goes up? And you're like, sometimes you wonder, is there people like watching you or something like it? It's like the funniest thing. Well, you know what? At the end of the day, that's not what it's about. What it's about is, did you do your homework? Did you have the right data? Well, here's an example, and I know everybody loves charts, right? And, and 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 you know everyone likes to use charts, and they're great, but you need to use it properly because the chart is what happened in the past. It's not indicative of the future. The only thing that's going to indicative of the future is the orders. And look at this stock. Look how it went from twenty-three dollars and sixty-five cents, and it went all the way up to about. I don't know, twenty four dollars, twenty four ten, you see oh five. And you could see it, and it was basically hitting there, it came down, hitting there, and then it came right back down to twenty three ninety. Now wouldn't it be nice to get out at the high and not get out at the low? And then all of a sudden, do you ever catch yourself like riding a stock down like, damn, I knew I should have sold it? What was I thinking? Well, if you knew there was a seventeen thousand share seller out there, you probably would have got out. You know, that's what makes Orders that makes that's what makes stocks go down. Like for example, l let's look at this example. Um, are there orders that haven't been filled yet? Yes, uh, Greg. We didn't get to that yet. That's something called time in sales. Okay, which is another very important feature we're going to talk about in the next moment. But let's look at this example right here. Look at this stock. Right, the stock is going down. Looking at the chart at twenty eight. What do you think, everybody? Let, let's have a little test right now. Everybody, everybody, wide awake. I know there's over close to four or five hundred people here, so we should get a lot of answers. The trend of the stock is telling us what is the stock going to go up or go down? What does the trend tell you? What does it tell you? It, it, it's not. It's not. It's not a trick question, guys. Just out of your body, out of your, your, your quick. Assumption, what do you think the stock's going to do? Uh, Richard, I don't know what you mean there's not enough data. Everyone else is saying it's going down, right? The trend is down. The trend is your friend. Don't buck the trend, right? So the trend is down, right? So when will the stock stop? I mean, zero? I mean, it's going to hit some support levels, right? And exactly, so if a lot of you are pointing at the 2650, well, <laughs> listen, you think a 100 share buyer is going to support the stock at 2671? You think the 1900 share buyer at 2665 is going to support it? No, you got a, almost a 50,000 share buyer sitting at 2650. So let me just tell you how traders, you know, us day traders, how do we actually trade these markets? I would have a game plan to see what happens at 2950. Okay, because what do you think 20? I mean, uh, 2650. What do you think 2650 is? What does that become now? Without looking at the chart, what do you guys think that becomes? Exactly, becomes a support level. In theory, guys. In theory, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> okay, because can we break through 2650? Absolutely. And how could that happen, which some of you are starting to lean to, which is saying, well, how do you know that's a real order? Meaning, how do you know a guy is not going to cancel that order? Or how do you know that guy got executed? Okay. Well, regardless, and that's what we're going to talk about right now. How do you know? 
Well, how do we know? Obviously, looking from this chart, it wasn't a fake out because look what happened. It hit 26, um, 70, and it went right back up to 27.60. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice to know that by you seeing that buy level out there? And not only that, but you had literally 15 minutes to buy that stock. And then finally the stock went up. And where did it all start? Because of that big block order on the bid. Now, does that seem does that seem hard, guys? No problem. We'll um, we'll have a record. I know it's late for some of you around the world, um, especially if you're in the West Coast. I mean, I'm West Coast. Uh, if you're in uh, in the Europe or China area, um, it's not hard, right, James? James, I said the same damn thing. I said, let me tell you what, 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 what the first day on the job, what my what my mentors taught me. This is Fausto. How much money you want to make? I said, you know, honestly, I mean, I wouldn't be angry to make, you know, it would be nice to make 50000 I'm like, well, you're in the wrong business. I'm like, because we're not in the $50,000 business. We're in the 100 quarter million dollar business. I'm like, okay, that sounds even better, all right? He says, okay, great. What do I need to do? This is what you need to do. You see that big buyer on the bid? When he buys, you buy. You see that big seller out there? When he sells, you sell. Now, that's all I got to do? He says, that's all you got to do, Fausto. You watch that buy. But what about the chart? Forget about the chart. Well, but what about the news? Forget about the news. Well, but what about you know Kramer? What, 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 what happened? Listen, stop thinking and start reacting. This is what you got to do, Fausto. Watch the big block buyer. The only thing you got to be concerned about is if he gets executed. That's all you got to do. And I'm thinking about it. I'm like, Jesus, that's all, it, that's all you got to do? And you know what? At the age of 24 years old, ladies and gentlemen, I was already retired. Semi-retired, I would say. Wasn't too healthy for a 24-year-old. In two years, I made so much money trading. And then now I'm here talking to all of you because I'm here to recruit you to be part of CTU because the whole idea is if I could train you how to trade and just buy on the bid, sell on the offer, follow those iceberg orders, and you go out there and you scan them with me, we're all going to make a lot of money together. Doesn't that sound like a great deal? So um, to get back what I was mentioned earlier, what are iceberg orders? Okay, Iceberg orders are basically what you're looking at. Everybody looks what's above the water, but no one ever looks what's underneath. And we all know what happened you know, if you don't look underneath because the, the iceberg is usually a lot bigger on the bottom than on the top. And, that, and, and, what, and how do you able to see that iceberg order? By having the right tools. Um, yes, Gregory, you know, me personally, I am a day trader, okay, and what that means, I'm in and out the same day, I still, I do swing trade, okay, um, but if you want to be a good swing trader, you want to be a good options trader, you have to learn how to day trade first because it's the movement of the stock that happens over the course of the day, which you'll understand what trickles down as a swing trade, okay. Did this happen on the, the show up in, in, in 08, 09? Well, I, I've been doing this since 95, and, no, and honestly, nothing has changed. You know, you know what changed? I'll tell you what exactly changed from when I started till today is that ticket charges went from $20 a ticket down to like $5, $3, even a dollar a ticket. And it's amazing that people still can't make money trading, um, trading at $2, $3 a ticket. And like platforms like the Metastock, do you know the Metastock platform, not Metastock in general, but platforms very similar to that? We used to pay $2,000 a month. 2000 not $2, not $200, $2,000 a month. And let me tell you, that was the only reason why I lost, because I refused to go out there and says, why am I going to spend $2,000 a month? Let me try it. If I like trading then, and I make money, then I'll pay the $2,000. Yeah, well, that didn't work too well. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, when you listen to all these presenters here today and what they have to offer to you, not just their knowledge, but their platform, and you have a platform like Metastock and, and, and what they're charging you, and you still want it for free, guys, let me just tell you, you want my recommendation? Trading is not for everybody. It's really not. And if you're out there trying to you know, do it as cheap as possible, well, the only thing that's going to do, it's going to get you in trouble. You can't win races being cheap. The only thing that's free in this world 
we, you know, is the cheese in the mouse trap, and we all know what happened to the mouse. So, when I was actually out there learning how to uh, trade, ladies and gentlemen, and you know, and I started with charts and everything else, but I kind of like day trading more because it was just a lot more simple. You know, it just, and you know what? At the end of the day, I knew exactly what I was going to make. See, the problem that I felt with swing trading is that unless you take your profit. You don't know what you make, and if you got a stock that's running and you got bills to pay, you know you, you don't make any money until you sell it. You know. Um, well, Joseph and, and a few of you for, personally, I don't trade ETFs, um, and I don't trade futures. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a stock trader. I'm a day trader. But you know what? You got a lot of presenters here who's going to talk about. It. That's what I was trying to tell you guys. You should sample a little bit of everybody's product so you understand what futures are and options and and day trading. And swing trading, because and then you'll realize what you can comprehend and not. Now, but when it comes to trading, guys, this is how I felt, and I love this baby picture because when I used to look at charts, I'm like, I'm so damn confused. Everyone's got like every every different platform out there. I just like to keep things simple, follow the support and resistance levels, and just look at the orders. But the thing is, when you look at this data. You know, and you look at the Metastock platform, people are like, my God, I don't know what, what I'm looking at. You know, here at Cyber Trading University, what we do is we start off with one window, and then we just add on it. Everything is, has something to do with the main window, which all starts with the book viewer. Now, um, how, does it, how do these charts work? Because now we're going to um, get to that next question, which a lot of you are asking me. How do you know these are real orders, and how do you? And, and not only that, but where does the chart get its data from? From it gets its data from time and sales. You need to know the confirmation of those trades if they're going off. So when you look at that order and you saw a fifty thousand share buyer out there, how do you really know that he's he, that he got executed, he canceled through time and sales? How many of you guys using time and sales? I mean, you could just follow the colors and know exactly where the direction of stock is going. It's not that hard to be very successful when it comes to trading, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually quite simple. You know what the hard thing about trading is? Everyone just makes things more complicated. They go out there and they want to add this window. Everyone's looking for a crystal ball. Okay, Everybody's looking for someone to tell them what to do. You know what? The way I was trained, you can't always depend on someone always to be there. I look at you guys as my as my children. Eventually, you gotta leave. You gotta have to leave. You have to leave the nest. Can't be there. I can't. I can't feed you all the time. And when it comes to trading, you guys gotta know how to how to play the game of trading. And the only way you guys are really gonna learn is not by reading and by somebody teaching you. You need that person to trade with you also. And that's why at Cyber Trade University, one of the big things that we do differently is that we don't know not only pra um, preach, but we practice what we preach. And that's why we're the first, um, the original day trading room that started before all these other rooms started around. Actually, a lot of schools out there, you know, are you know are our our own students and and instructors, and it's great. And, and you know what? The more that are out there, the more excited I get. It's so it's so great to see so many schools out there and people out there and you guys going out there and taking matters in your own hands. But it's 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 about time that you guys do it the right the right uh, do it the right way. A couple of questions coming across here. I don't know if I missed a couple of them. Um, sorry, I haven't seen how long level three level three can we do it manually? How little brief, please. Well, to do it. Um, I will show you on Monday because obviously the market's closed, and you know. And not only that, did you guys ever trade in in, in pre market? Anybody ever go out there and actually trade pre market trading and all that good stuff? Anyone anyone part of a trading room? A lot of you haven't. Do you know that most of the money that my traders make is in the pre market? That's real realistic. We make most of our money. What's the difference between level two and level three, Ela? about 20 times more data. Level two is only showing you the best bid and best offer. Level three is showing you all the bids and all the offers. Okay. Uh, John's question is, what amount is considered to be a block order or sell minimum amount? 
Um, usually about five, about probably about ten times the average orders that are out there. So if everybody's showing like hundreds, a thousand share block would be pretty much standard. So a lot of people showing thousand, um, ten thousand is more of a block. Usually ten times or higher. Uh, why don't I trade ETFs? Um, you know why? Because ETFs don't always move. And when you're dealing with ETFs, you're dealing with the best traders on Wall Street. You know, there are a lot of good stocks that are moving out there. Did you guys see, for example, um, let me just give you, I'll give you a couple symbols out there. Um, did you guys see a stock called uh, D, DCIX? Look it up. See how that worked out for you. Xnet, did you see that one? Square, did you guys see those? Look at these stock symbols. Why are you in the business? To make money. When you're dealing with ETFs, I always found that you're dealing with the best traders on Wall Street, and honestly, I can't beat them. So, and not only that, they don't always move. I mean, JNUT moved pretty nice on Friday, but when's the last time that stock actually even moved? And that's right, Trevor, and that's why you're all here. I only use shares, uh, will it work on currencies? Terry, like I told you, there's a couple of people today that are going to talk about currencies. I don't trade currencies. You know, I trade stocks. I, I know how to trade currencies, uh, but I just find that for me, um, I found that stocks was just a lot more controllable and a little bit easier. Okay? Um, uh, do I trade options, John? Yes, I do, but very minimal. Um, I'm actually the one selling it, not buying it. And um, the only people that I teach, my, a lot of my students that trade options, you know, listen, you got to be a good stock trader first. It's the movement of the stock that makes an option move. So if, you're, if you can understand how the stock moves, you'll be that much better of an options trader. And sometimes you don't have to always go out there and trade the option. You can just trade the stock. You know, it's a lot less riskier. Um, you know, maybe, um, you know, th there's so many reasons why you would trade an option, but it's got to be for the right reasons, not, not because you can't afford the stock. Uh, let me see a couple more questions coming in here. I thought level one was a bid and ask price. Level two showed additional price levels. It does, John, but it's only showing you the price level one of that market maker's bid and offer. It's not showing you all the orders out there at every every single price level. Big, big difference, John. And you know what? You got seven dollars, John. Are you willing to make an investment for seven bucks? Because I'll show you for a whole week in the market. All right. What do you have to lose? If it, does, if it doesn't work out, I'll give you $7 back. That's the way I look at it. Um, questions here, Daniel. Uh, Daniel has a question. If you only trade stocks, how large of an account would you be need to get started? You know what, Daniel? You don't need a lot of money. You see, that is a misconception that people make, and I'll talk about it right now. First of all, how do we scan for stocks? Okay. The Metastock platform has something called the top performers and the and uh, the bottom performers, okay? And just look at these stocks right here, okay? Um, look at them, you know, net change, last trade, $2 stocks, $19 stocks, $4 stocks. Here's a stock that went up, you know, a dollar stock, a $3 stock, went up 51% plum, trade 25 million shares. To buy 1,000 shares of a $3 stock, how much money do you need? $3,000? You know, and I'll tell you what, the reason why people do swing trading and options trading because they think they, they can't afford it. And you know what? At the end of the day, let, let's be honest, do you really care what this company does? You're just here to make money. If this stock goes 50 cents, you think your spouse is going to come up to you, oh, oh, really, honey? You made $500 today? What'd you do? Trade Apple? I'm like, do you think she, do she even cares? She just cares that, if you, you know, she just cares if you made, or he or she cares if you just made money doing it. That's all. All right, we're almost running out of time here, so let me just uh, move up a little quickly. Um, but let me just tell you what we do here at CyberTrade University. We'll show you how we shop for stocks. We'll go out there, we'll find them, we'll teach you how to risk the least amount of money with the high amount of reward. We'll go out there and we'll trade together like a team, and we'll see where those big iceberg orders, and we'll go out there and trade together. And make money together because that's what it's all about. We start we start on Monday at 8:30 in the morning, and and I, not only that, ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to understand, trading is not a full time job. Okay, I don't know if I, it's only about an hour. We only trade about an hour. The first hour of the open, that's it. We're pretty much done. That's all we do. 
and we will trade like the last 30 minutes of the close. That's where most of the volume picks up. Um, well, John, listen, regardless, regardless of the percentage move, do you make more money on an option versus st a stock buying? John, it's not about how much money you make. It's about the risk. Okay, for the amount of risk, you know, and, and, and depending on, you know, the premium, you got to pay for that, that, that option and then the time and the commission. Sometimes it's better off just buying the stock with a penny spread and go from there. You know, they, they're, they, you can't be trading stocks, swing trading, and options for the wrong reasons. Okay, you don't want to be a poor man playing a rich man's game. That's the biggest mistake, carnal rule you do not do when it comes to trading. Well, Ray, everybody's pockets are different. No matter how much money you need to retire, I can tell you one thing. you got to make a lot of live in New York. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about potential income, all right? So net and potential income, think about this for a second. You buy 1,000 shares of stock. If it moves a lousy little stinking 50 cents, 50 cents, that's all. That's $500, 20 trade days a month. You're talking a six-figure salary. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but... Anybody have a problem making part-time money, that much money? I know it sounds, you know, too good to be true, but realistically, how many of you guys go into trade and just focus on making 50 cents or trade a stock twice and make 20 cents? Everybody's trying to make dollars, you know, and that's not what we're at about Cybertrain University. We're not here to hit home runs. We're here to just get base hits. So let's stop dreaming. And let's start doing it, guys. So this is what I want while well, I'm asking all of you. I want you guys to take the opportunity to join me on Monday. And uh, yes, I know it's Thanksgiving, so believe me, Lewis, um, you could think it's slow all you want. Um, Friday, Black Friday is a very, very busy day. A lot of easy trading. A lot of market makers put their assistance in. Wednesday might be slow, but Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday, listen, all you need is one day in my trading room. And this is what I want you guys to do. Don't judge CTU from its winners. I want you to judge the losers. Look at the losers, what we do. And you know what the key is? Watch how we control the losses. Watch how we stay away from certain stocks that some of you would consider trading. And then why we'll trade something else. And not only that, but the most important thing I want you to look at is that when you join and you do the trial, don't look at me, okay? Don't count my money. First of all, that's, that, that's, I don't know if your parents have told you don't count other people's money, right? But don't count my money. What I want you to do is count, look at the other traders that I train and see how well they do. Because I could be a great trader, but I could be a terrible teacher, right? So watch the traders, see how they make money, see how they work together like a team, and that will show you that if you could do it. Because you know what? The people that are in this room are grandmas, grandpas, engineers, veterans, border control people, bakers, business owners, um, accountants. These are people like every day. You know, every uh, you know, because we all know, guys, Social Security is not paying enough, and you're not going to want to give your money to somebody to trade it for. You could do it yourself. So this is what I'm asking. I want you. I'm looking for serious traders, okay? And I know that there's a lot of you here that are still very skeptical. This is what I'm asking for: seven dollars to join me for a week, and this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a week of my trading room. You can get three daily market meetings. You're going to get a morning and afternoon watch list. You're going to get a live Q&A session, and then not only that, but if you register for the first 20 people that register right now, I will personally give you a coaching class. Listen, I am looking for serious people, and the $7, guys, we're not, we don't make any money in $7. You know what? Because you know what? If, if you like it and you're making, but I could tell you this, if I, if I made you $100,000, would you have a problem paying me a commission? No. Of course you wouldn't. And that's when you make it, not before. I'm talking after, all right? But for you to witness and see if this is all true about the level three, about finding the stocks, reading charts, take an opportunity, pay the $7, because that will give me the confidence that you're a serious person, because I'm looking for serious people. And if you're the first 10 people that register right now, I'm sorry, 20 people, 
I will personally give you a coaching class. And I'll be happy to talk to you, and I'll help to answer your questions. All right. In the meantime, um, we got about a couple of minutes left before we call. Anybody have any questions? Um, no, someone. We don't do PayPal, and we don't take cash. All right. We just um, just Mastercard, Visa, um, Diners Club, Discover, American Express, <laughs> any of those. All right. Uh, just click on the link right here. I think you got the link right there. I don't know if I put it up there, but you can see it up on the screen. Just go to www.ctu.co forward slash trial. There you go, right there. You can click on that link right there, and it should bring you right to the page. You can also go to www. Yep, comes right up. .ctu.co, and you can get the link on the on the homepage. Um, all right, well, oh my God, you guys are pretty quick. You don't waste any time. I'm gonna do a quick little shout outs right here. Bill from, uh, who we got here? A bunch of people registering right now. Just thank you. I got uh, Jay Justin from Arizona. Congratulations. Look forward to talking to you. Bill from California. Los Angeles, congrats. Look forward to talking to you. Mary from New Jersey, good to see you. Welcome aboard. Uh, a couple of questions. Uh, required, requirements for day trading, Bill? Once again, before you go out there and you worry about day trading and the requirements, this and that, first see if trading is for you or not, okay, and then go from there. No problem, Ella. Thank you very much for con coming. Contact is not on my screen. Um, listen, if you go to Cyber University's website, right there in the home page, it'll come right up right there. All right, any other questions? All right, you got about another minute or so. Don Lewis from Orlando, Florida. Congratulations. Look forward to talking to you. Just doing a couple of shout outs so you guys know who exactly I'm going to be who won. Uh, Lewis Barrows from Maine. Melrose. Melrose. Is that Melrose Place? <laughs> Look forward to talking to you. All right. How do I get access to level three? Sal, well, the be best place to go is call your brokerage firm, ask them for it. Chances are they probably won't tell you if they're direct unless they're direct access. But Sal, I'll show you where to get it on Monday. And honestly, Sal, I'd rather you not know and look at it unless I show you what it looks like in real market conditions. Okay. All right, listen, I'm getting yelled at. Um, I know you got the next presenter just standing by that's coming up. I don't want to take too much time away from him. Plus, I want to give you guys some time to register. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much. Thank you, Metastock. You are the best, Jeff. Look forward to seeing you on the next cup of coming event. And uh, another great, successful presentation. And for everyone for being here, great presenters. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. Love being here. And I look forward to seeing you all, uh, all of you on Monday. Thank you so much, guys. And good luck trading. And then uh, for all the people that are celebrating Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, Fausto. I don't remember yelling at you, for the record. Oh, he's gone already. <laughs> all right. Uh, you're welcome, Steve. Thanks for coming today. Uh, just a little bit of a, uh, of a, a shout out. Thanks, Fasto. That was a great presentation. Hope you enjoyed it. I want to ask you guys how we're doing. Um, uh, on a scale of one to five, with five being good, how are you rating today's session? Let me know in the chat here. 5.5. I'll take it, Jay. Uh, five from John. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, change the view back over to me real quick here. Another five, a couple of fives. One thing I will ask you, 5.6. Wow, that you're breaking the scale. Uh, uh, you're breaking the scale, guys. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it, well, I was going to say, uh, at the end of the session, uh, there's about a four uh, uh, survey question. I'd like you to fill it out, particularly if you have some suggestions you'd want to see implemented in the future summits, future speakers. Who was your favorite speaker today? That's one that we uh, always like to see the results of and just uh, basically kind of all that kind of stuff. Brian says the last one. Okay. Uh, in any case, I, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Uh, I hope you're, uh, I hope the, the session is good for you today. Uh, I love these days um, in any case. Um, 
Uh, do want to remind you, we do have the uh, Trader Toolbox. It's available, 50% discount. Uh, normally, it's going to be $3,000 to buy all of the four add-ons we featured earlier. You can get them for $15.99. I know the sales lines were busy earlier. Uh, they freed up, as you might imagine. So you can give us a call at 800-882-3040, or you can visit us online at metastock.com. Excuse me. Slash sales chat. So... Um, in any case, uh, the link here, uh, Ray was asking for the link again. I think he's looking for this link. Uh, there you go, Ray. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. There's a slide in here. This isn't supposed to be here. Uh, okay. Do you want to say thanks Stocks and Commodities Magazine for sponsoring today's event? I know we thank them all day. They're great sponsors. Thank you, guys. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming today. Um, that's It's great to have you here. Um, we are offering the extended trial of Metastock. So what that means is, like, the normal cost for, like, our Metastock DC version is, like, 59 bucks. It's been rated number one in its price category every single year since, like, 1993 or 1994. Uh, you can try it out. If you pay for a month, we will give you three months. So... So basically, you know, so it's November 18th. You'll be running it in December, January, February. I'm going to basically give you Metastock till Valentine's Day, uh, which will come. And I also think it's a good time to start using Metastock. And the reason being is, let's face it, we get a little bit of downtime, thankfully, during the holidays. And um, uh, that's a really good time to start to kind of explore a software, kind of play with software, that kind of stuff. And uh, get you ready for the good trading that usually happens in January and February. So I'd encourage you to give that a go. Uh, if you're not getting it as part of the package, uh, you can just get Metastock at metastock.com slash traders summit three for one. You can also give us a call. We can send you some information on the program 800-882-3040.